learning a lot more today about the young man who was killed when a home exploded on Chickering Road in Lawrence. This is the most devastating news. 18-year-old Leo Rondon was in a small SUV in the driveway at that house. The explosion actually shot the chimney off the home and it landed on his SUV. Today, friends and neighbors are just beginning to cope with the tragedy. And WBZ's Christina Hager is live in Lawrence with more on that. Christina. Well, Lisa, a friend of Leo Rondon's says there was a group of friends in the vehicle with him. They were in the driveway of their friend's house here when they when he says the woman who lives in that house went inside to make dinner. That's when he says the explosion happened. The sounds of alarm still ringing through the South Lawrence neighborhood that's mourning the loss of one of its own. 18-year-old Leo Rondon, whose friends say he was behind the wheel of this SUV in his friend's Chickering Street driveway when the house exploded, causing the chimney to collapse on the vehicle. As investigators return, taking pictures of the scene a day later, a close family friend spoke outside the victim's home. He just got his license yesterday, and um, he was celebrating with his friends, and he was dropped off. At, uh, at that house that exploded. The house friends stopped by to see for themselves. He was basically a brother to everybody. Good kid. He'll be remembered as a DJ, always in school. As they shed light on a life lost, utility crews worked around them, checking gas meters house by house. Police escorted neighbors into the off-limit zone around the leveled home that Governor Baker saw up close. Immediate and enormous and gigantic demonstration of the force of a gas explosion. That close family friend of Leo Rondon tells us he was interested in fashion. He was a junior, junior at the Phoenix Charter Lawrence Academy. And according to that school, he excelled at science. They say he was a model for his classmates. There are grief counselors available for them at the school now in Lawrence. Christina Hager, WBZ News.